Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega 400, and that is Anne. She's my wife, in case you were thinking she wasn't my wife anymore. Actually, I didn't actually mention that. I will uh, now. Your wife can technically leave you. Uh, she will leave you if you. I don't know if it falls to a blue heart. I think it's blue heart. No, no not blue heart, green heart. I, I think. Well, wait, there's pink, yellow. Yeah, I think green, maybe. I don't. I don't know, but if uh, she falls to a certain level of, um, you know, she falls down in her uh, favor. And I'm trying to be friends with him because I know he has a recipe for the fall, so I'm trying to make happy with him so he can give me that recipe when the time comes, um, which I can't get until fall. And also just because I want Kai and I'll, I want them all to just be happy because right now they're all just kind of grumpy. Um, but uh, yeah, if she if she gets to a certain level, she will. If you have your child, she will take your child away from you. Uh, and all the other girls will disappear, so it's not like you can just get another girl. You have to go make up with her, or just not make up with her. Uh, I recommend making up with her, because otherwise, like, half the town... I mean, honestly, the girls make up a good portion of the town, so a good portion of the town will be gone, and you won't have a wife or a baby. Which is sad. Everyone should have a baby. If you don't have a baby, then you're... you're... Well, actually, I'm kind of just being crazy here. I said before that I'm not a big fan of babies because as they are cute, they are also kind of annoying. And also needy. But then again, so are other things like pets. I don't know, I guess that's a, you know what? Entirely kind of weird transition, but uh as a question, what do you what kind of pets do you like more? Do you like the ones that are like cute and but you have to take care of like hamsters or even dogs, but like puppies, I and mean, of course, when their dogs are not as cute, but like puppies, obviously, are a little, I feel like puppies are a little bit more needy than like cats. Cats, of course, you can, you know, somewhat, but for the most part, like, it's like, I guess dogs aren't super needy, but I, I feel like compared to, uh, why does everyone talk about rain sound like music? Though I guess it is true. Uh, rain can sound like a lot of things, but, um, yeah, I guess, like, like cats, I think, are a little bit more, uh, on their own. I'm trying to think of other, uh, animals that just, pets that just kind of do their own thing. Um, but I guess it's the question is, what is your favorite pet, and is it a pet that is more, uh, you know, in individualistic, or does it like to get attention, and how cute is it on a scale of one to, ah? You can fill in the blanks between that scale. Uh, so yeah, I'm picking more flowers, a lot of my flowers. I have kind of just dropped some of them. Because I'm running out of... I've, I've actually filled my entire cupboard with flowers, so it's like I don't have any room to store them. Um, I guess I could, you know... Ooh! Ooh, that's cool. Uh, golden Sickle. Actually, probably one of the best golden cool tools, I think, because it does that. You, like, spin around um, and, like, slice it. Oh, yay. PTM, get back in. I think it's PTM. Basically, that's another thing. I don't know if I've seen that. If you've seen that. If a... Animal goes outside, because they'll sometimes wander outside by themselves, or if you have them outside, uh, when it's raining, their eyes will bug out, so you don't want them to be outside when it's raining, um, unless you want to see them, their eyes bug out, but, um, and also I think it gets them sick, possibly, so, and yeah, Popery has a blue heart, actually, also Maria, I believe, has a blue heart, so again, the people who I'm, you know, friends with have, or people who I got married have blue hearts, so that means you're good friends with them, so don't worry, your wife's not going to leave you for that. I just make sure to keep giving her gifts and not ignoring her, either. Uh, I'm buying more chicken feed. Obviously, I have enough money to just buy a, a crap ton. I'm just going to buy, I think, 99. Um, because I want to make sure I don't run out, but, you know, it's like, I have so much money. I'm kind of rolling the money. I'm not, I could obviously have more, but again, even if I, uh, stop doing vegetables, which I think I'm going to start doing, like, in this video, um, but even if I start, or in this episode, but if I, even if I start, uh, not doing vegetables, um, you know, I still have my cows that are going to give me a lot of money from their milk, especially when I get all of them producing large milk, uh, you know, that will just rake in the money in here. I'm just, I'm just trying to clean up my fields a little bit, tidy up a bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a. Uh, what was I talking about before? I was talking about, like, Popper, no, not before Popper, I don't know, whatever. Um, Oh, flowers. I, well, what's it? I don't know. Anyway, I, well, eh, anyway, what, what the heck was I trying to say? Uh, anyway, and here, Golden Axe. 
which not not the game golden axe, but uh, yeah, I just I kind of occasionally would uh, level these or hit these off screen occasionally when I had time. So finally, with this, I have all the golden tools. Uh, I'm not sure how the golden hoe ho works. I think it's hoe. Um, I assume it makes a hole like four square, but like, how would that work in terms of using it? Because I know the one square makes like one square, uh, and then the one makes three squares like in a row. So it'd be kind of odd, I guess, um, to make like a big chunk. And uh, the, the axe does uh, it, it chops wood in one chop, so that's nice actually. It's really convenient. Uh, though honestly, I'm not gonna be needing it after I get the last stick. Hello, cutscene. Hmm. Very berry pie, walnut cake. And tea. Are you going to eat both? There was three things. Well, I'm hung tired and hungry, so yes. I envy you, Papri. You never get fat. Even when you eat a lot. I, I plump up so... Okay, this conversation is kind of awkward. Here, today's special is mint tea. I think girls should be a little plump. It's health... Wait, mint tea. That's... What? Wait, what? That's... Uh, what? No. I, I know he's the master baker, but that just sounds so wrong. Here you go, I topped the pie with ice cream. Wow, thanks. I, I, I don't even know what to say. And I can't even give him milk because he just says welcome. And she just says welcome. And she talks about all these cakes, even though she has a pie. I, I don't know. Popery. Popery babbles me. Like, half the things, conversations with her that don't make sense, or half the conversations in this game that don't make sense involve Popery. Not so much that it didn't make sense. Basically, it was saying that Ellie is beautiful, even though it seemed like Jeff said it to Popery, even though Popery was not fat. I, I don't know. But I guess, yeah, basically that Ellie's fine the way she is. Um, but... I, I, I don't know. Am I, I the only one who finds the word plump to be kind of awkward sounding? And hey, if I want to give you a flower, I can. And yeah, she's mentioning the baby because we we are having a baby. But yeah, I don't know. There, there are, actually, that that's a good discussion. Uh, there are some words that just sound worse than other words. I think, feel like plump is one of them. Like, you know, if you were to say, like, fat. Fat's, I mean, you could say fat's more offensive. But, you know, I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe, I just, they sound like, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just over-exaggerating. But, uh, I would, I would highly encourage you never to say, um, it's okay being plump, because that's the way the master likes it. Because that makes, that, you know what, I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to try, I'm just going to talk to this hairy old man. And, what do you mean, talk, or think about tomorrow, tomorrow? If you're thinking about tomorrow, tomorrow, then you're not thinking about tomorrow. You're thinking about today, tomorrow, or no, t t tomorrow, t today, t tom I This game, some of its dialogue baffles me. I'm kind of tired. I baffle me. I want some pie. I really could go for some. I, I, you know, ice cream pie. You know, you know, I, I want some pie. Pope Reek gets pie. Why don't I don't get pie? I know. I'm ranting, or not ranting, but I'm complaining about an imaginary game character getting pie, and I'm not getting pie. I want some pie. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, summer is almost over. Um, and honestly, you know, if you notice, these videos have been, uh, the past few have been pretty quick, actually. Quick pace, so I'm, it may uh, sh make, you know, the, the next two and wait. Of course, dogs and babies, or dogs and babies, dogs and horses have uh, babies without reading books. They can't read. And then again, you know, yeah, I don't, I, I don't get the whole reading book thing anyway, though. I mean, you have the midwife, you know, she, she, technically doesn't she do all the, well, not all the work, but doesn't she all do all the, uh, I mean, what, well, I, I don't know. Then again, I guess there is do's and don'ts. I don't. I I've never been pregnant, so personally, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I I honestly probably should know. No, well, that I mean, I probably should look it up and actually like learn that. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm 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 not getting anywhere. Anyway, what was I? Oh, um, 
So yeah, actually the next few episodes, or next few episodes, uh, fall might only be four episodes, possibly. It, it, it may depend on how fast fall goes, um, because I, I, like I said, I'm not, I might, you haven't seen the greenhouse for the most part, because I haven't been going to the greenhouse. Uh, I'm not just cutting it out t entirely. I haven't used the greenhouse at all, because I haven't had any, uh, reason to go to the greenhouse, because, again, I have a ton of money, so I decided not to, you know, because it takes a lot of time up to water the plants, and I wanted to focus on, you know, making friends with other people, even though, um, you know, really at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to being friends with everyone, or at least pretty good friends, I feel. Maybe not. I would just, like, skip a bunch of days by going to bed early in the game, but, like, I also don't want Anne to be like, why are you going to bed one minute after you wake up? That's weird, honey. Um, so, here we have the, I think I'm going to try and buy the last extension. It's only 350, and with that, um, for the log terrace, and with the uh, 350 wood, that is, uh, price is not a uh, problem, but with the extra wood I got from the swimming festival, I, that should be enough, and the bit I've been chopping up occasionally. Wait, not, what? How is there not enough? I, I should be pretty, I should have enough. Let's see, how much do I have? Two, two logs! I'm down by two logs, and you can't, you can't, like, I'm sure that you could either, like, you could do it without two logs of wood. Uh, or at least improvise. You know, I, I, I don't, I think that's kind of nitpicky, Carpenter. And, ironically, I talk about not going to the greenhouse. Um, yeah, I'm, I, really, at this point, I just went back in to pick up the remaining vegetables, and then I'm gonna probably just leave the vegetables and not have any more grow. Yes, it is. Yes, you can take it. Goodbye. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna break all these rocks. I know you're like, well, wait, your fence. Well, A, it wasn't really doing anything. B, um, the rocks really don't serve much of a purpose. It's just better to get rid of them. And once I get the log terrace, that's actually a good place to put your horse anyway, because your horse really doesn't leave that place. Um, you'll see what the log tor t tortoise. The log tortoise. Um, you'll see what the log terrace looks like when I get it. Because I will be getting it soon, because I only need two more logs. Um, but yeah, just cleaning up here, and tomorrow shall be fall, or, well, tomorrow in the game. So, yeah, next video, fall, which will be fun. You'll get to hear the fall music. It's very fall-like, very, very autumn-y, and, yeah. I like the gold tools. They look so golden. Cool. Anyway, this has been Make for Hunter, and I'm reminding, uh, I, and I am reminding you that, uh, um, to go bake some caramel popcorn.